robocalls. Indiana's U.S. Senator Todd Young is co-sponsoring the legislation. I personally receive multiple robocalls per day, and it didn't take me long to find other people who do too. It's just so constant. It's like, why do I even answer the phone anymore? Sometimes you can't avoid it. August Tharp is waiting to hear back from a potential internship opportunity, so she's expecting a call from a number she doesn't recognize. And you get excited because it's like a number you don't know, and then it's just an automated message telling you that you want a cruise or you need health insurance. It doesn't only happen once. Easily in a day, probably four to five calls from, and a lot of them have been coming from Pennsylvania recently. Like, I've blocked the numbers and they'll just come up with a new number and call again. U.S. Senator Todd Young says it's a problem that affects everyone. We've all been on the receiving end of these annoying phone calls. Young hopes the bill he's co-sponsoring helps. What we propose is to give the FCC more power. Uh, to uh, impose stiffer fines on uh, these individuals. We also want to give them a little more time to go after bad actors. Lawmakers are also wanting telecom companies to invest in technology that can filter out robocalls. Do you think that's a good idea? That is a good idea. I haven't heard about it personally, though. Young says he wants more people to hear about it. He can't imagine why someone wouldn't want this legislation. They interrupt our dinner conversations, uh, they interrupt uh, our daily lives, and, and uh, we ought to all come together and support this. And I think that most, uh, most senators, members of the House, uh, and uh, the administration will indeed support this. Well, for now, uh, experts still urge you to avoid picking up numbers you don't recognize.